Welcome to Scoring Student Work for the Biology End of Course Exam and Collection of Evidence. The focus of this video is to provide guidance for scoring student short answer responses using rubrics. We will review one scenario, an associated item, and several student responses to that item. In this video, we will take a close look at the relationship between a scoring rubric and student responses for a short answer question. I will demonstrate the scoring process with three student responses for an unintended consequences question. You will then review other student responses in the same way. The goal is to determine the score, 2, 1, 0, for each response. You should have on hand the Moths in the Trees scenario, a copy of the unintended consequences APPE1 question from the COE, the Moths in the Trees sample task, the rubric for the question, and the student responses for the question. Please refer to these documents throughout the presentation. You will find it helpful to take notes or mark up your copies. If you have not already done so, please pause the video and take a few minutes to read the Moths in the Trees scenario and the unintended consequences question and write a response to the question. Write your response not as a teacher but as a hardworking, well-taught biology student. Please do not read the rubric until after you have written your response. When you are finished, continue to view the rest of this video. Let's begin our review with the scenario. This system scenario describes a living system. System scenarios may include systematic observations, models, or open-ended explorations of a system. There may be subsystems within the system, and the system may be a part of a larger system. However, the focus of the scenario should be a single system. A label diagram of the system defines the boundaries of the system and labels the parts of the system. This scenario, the Moths and the Trees, was used operationally on the Biology EOC in 2012 and 2013. You will find this scenario and the associated questions from those exams in the 2013 Biology Released Item Document. You will also find the Moths and the Trees scenario set in the 2014 updates for Biology EOC, as well as the Moths and the Trees sample COE task. In the EOC updates and the COE sample task documents, questions have been added to the scenario or modified to provide additional guidance to teachers and students. The version of the question from the COE sample task that we are using in this module differs slightly from the version of the corresponding question in the EOC updates and released item documents. The question we are presenting here can be used in preparing for either assessment. Links to all these documents can be found at the end of this module. You may find it useful to use the Moths in the Trees scenario to teach the structure of a system scenario to your students. Now let's look at the unintended consequences question. If the tussock moth population increases rapidly, trees that people want to use can be damaged. One solution is to use a pesticide that kills moths to keep the moths from damaging trees. Describe two possible unintended consequences of using pesticides to remove the tussock moth. In your description, be sure to. Describe two unintended consequences of using pesticides to remove the tussock moth and Describe how each unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. If you are working in a group, this would be a good time to pause the video and compare your responses. Now let's look at the rubric. Each short answer question rubric begins with a performance description. The performance description includes the content standard from the Washington State 2009 K-12 Science Learning Standards. The content standard describes what students are expected to know. The content standard, APPE, reads, Perfect solutions do not exist. All technological solutions involve trade-offs in which decisions to include more of one quality means less of another. All solutions involve consequences, some intended, others not. The performance description also includes the item specification. The item specification specifies the knowledge and abilities that are to be assessed by the question. APPE item specification 1 reads, Describe trade-offs and or unintended consequences for one or more given solutions to a given technological design problem. Links to the Washington State 2009 K-12 Science Learning Standards and the Biology Test and Item Specifications documents can be found at the end of this module. The next part of the rubric, Item and Example Responses, restates the question and gives sample student responses. It is important to note that the sample student response section gives a range of possible responses and is not an exhaustive list. The rubric, as well as an annotated student response training set, are used to guide scores in the actual scoring of student responses. 
We read through the question on the last slide, so let's go straight to the example responses. The example responses are split into two columns. The left-hand column states a plausible unintended consequence, and the right-hand column describes how that unintended consequence could affect another organism. Example responses. First response. Water is polluted, or pesticide gets into the water, so fish, or aquatic insects, or aquatic plants are sick or killed. Second example. Air is polluted by the pesticide, Therefore, other insects, or birds, or animals get sick or killed. Third example, pesticide kills insects other than tussock moth. As a result, there is less food for the predators of those other insects. Fourth example, some plants are harmed by the pesticide, so less food or habitat is available for animals who use those plants. Fifth example, Biomagnification, or pesticide, builds up in food chain. As a result, the pesticide in small organism kills or harms predators of those organisms. And the last example, trees go bigger and produce more shade since no moths are eating them. Therefore, smaller plants are not able to grow in the shade. At the bottom of the rubric, we find any notes that are helpful for scoring. For this question, the note states, Note. Responses describing one unintended consequence of using pesticides and describing how that unintended consequence would cause a change in another part of the forest ecosystem may be credited one point. Often, teachers ask if describing two unintended consequences with no description of how either consequence affects an organism in the ecosystem can earn one point. The answer is no. Describing two unintended consequences only does not fully demonstrate the knowledge and abilities that are to be assessed by an APPE 1 question. The points possible for the question are listed on the right-hand side of the rubric. There are two points possible for this question. On the EOC, all short answer questions are worth two points. On the COE, short answer questions can be worth one, two, three, or four points. Now for the student responses. Look at response A. As I read the response out loud, Keep the following question in mind. Does the response describe two unintended consequences of using pesticides to remove the tussock moth from trees people want to use, and how each unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem? One unintended consequence. One unintended consequence of using pesticides to kill moths is that if the moths die off, there will be less food for the animals that eat the moths. Animals such as small birds or ground mammals may die off as well from lack of food. Another unintended consequence. Pesticides could get into the water of the stream and contaminate it. Then plants and animals that drink the water could become poisoned and die. Let's start with one unintended consequence and identify the sections of the response that address the two bulleted parts of the question. The two bulleted parts are re represented by the green and purple text. We have circled the following with a purple line to show how the student has described an unintended consequence. If the moths die off, there will be less food for the animals that eat the moths. Fits within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is a plausible unintended consequence of the given solution. We have circled the following with a green line to show where the student has described how that unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. Animals, such as small birds or ground mammals, may die off as well from lack of food. Fits within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is a plausible effect of that unintended consequence. One unintended consequence earns one point. Let's take a look at another unintended consequence and identify the sections of that response that address the two bulleted parts of the question. We have circled the following with a second purple line to show how the student has described another unintended consequence. Pesticides could get into the water of the stream and contaminate it. Stream. Fits within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is a plausible unintended consequence of the given solution. Notice that the pronoun it has been defined as stream. In this portion of the student response, during scoring pronouns will be defined, when possible, to make a student response more clear. However, students should be discouraged from including pronouns in any short answer response. 
We have circled the following with a second green line to show where the student has described how that unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. Then plants and animals that drink the water could become poisoned and die. Fits within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is a plausible effect of that unintended consequence. Another unintended consequence also earns one point. Response A is an example of a student response that earns a total of two points. Now for student response B. Again, as I read the response out loud, keep the following question in mind. Does the response describe two unintended consequences of using pesticides to remove the tussock moth from trees people want to use, and how each unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem? One unintended consequence. One unintended consequence is that the birds or other animals will lose their food, causing a chain reaction in the food chain. Another unintended consequence. Second, if a bird eats a moth that is infected with the pesticides, it will cause biological magnification through the food chain until the parts per million is deadly for the apex predator. Again, let's start with one unintended consequence and identify the sections of the response that address the two bolded parts of the question. The two bolded parts are represented by the green and purple text. We have circled the following with a purple line to show how the student has described an unintended consequence. The birds, or other animals, will lose their food. Fits within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is a plausible unintended consequence of the given solution. We have circled the following with a green line to show where the student attempted to describe how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. Causing a chain reaction in the food chain is a vague statement and does not fit within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is not a plausible effect of that unintended consequence. Remember that the question asks students to describe an effect on another organism. One unintended consequence does not earn a point. Let's take a look at another unintended consequence and identify the sections of that response that address the two bolded parts of the question. We have circled the following with a second purple line to show where the student has described an unintended consequence. Second, if a bird eats a moth that is infected with the pesticides, it, pesticides, will cause biological magnification through the food chain. Fits within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is a plausible unintended consequence of the given solution. We have circled the following with a second green line to show where the student has described how that unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. Until the parts per million is deadly for the apex predator fits within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is a plausible effect of that unintended consequence. Another unintended consequence would earn one point. Response B is an example of a student response that would earn a total of one point. And finally, student response C. Once again, as I read the response out loud, keep the following question in mind. Does the response describe two unintended consequences of using pesticides to remove the tussock moth from trees people want to use? and how each unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. One unintended consequence, it could kill out all the moths then the birds can't feed on the moths. Another unintended consequence, what if the pesticide kill a lot of the other species in the forest, not just the moth? Again, we will start with one unintended consequence and identify the sections of the response that address the two bolded parts of the question. The two bolded parts are represented by green and purple text. We have circled the following with a purple line to show how the student attempted to describe an unintended consequence. It, pesticides, could kill out all of the moths. This is the intended consequence and does not fit within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is not plausible unintended consequence of the given solution. We have circled the following with a green line to show where the student attempted to describe how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. Then the birds can't feed on the moths. Is describing the effect of an intended consequence that cannot be credited. In addition, this portion of the response does not fit within the parameters of the rubric. One unintended consequence does not earn a point. Let's take a look at another unintended consequence and identify the sections of the response that address the two bolded parts of the question. We have circled the following with a second purple line to show how the student has described an unintended consequence. What if the pesticide kill a lot of the other species in the forest, not just the moth? 
fits within the parameters of the example responses from the rubric and is a plausible unintended consequence of the given solution. The student's response does not include a description of the effect of the unintended consequence on another organism in the forest ecosystem. Another unintended consequence does not earn a point. Response C is an example of a student response that would earn a total of zero points. At this time, pause the video, read through the rest of the student responses, look for a description of two unintended consequences of using pesticides to remove the tussock moth from trees people want to use, and a description of how each unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. Use the rubric and responses A, B, and C as a guide to assign each sample student response a score. Check your answers. If you're working in a group, take some time to compare your decisions. Then, let's look at the student responses to see how each paper was scored. Let's review student response D. For one unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line, leaving the moths predators with no food. In addition, the student's description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem is circled with a green line. They, the moth predators, will become weak and die off. One unintended consequence would earn one point. For another unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. Also, it, pesticides, may harm other species inhabiting the trees, such as squirrels, birds, etc. However, the student's response does not include a description of the effect of the unintended consequence on another organism in the forest ecosystem. Another unintended consequence does not earn a point. Response D is an example of a student response that would earn a total of one point. Let's now evaluate student response E. For one unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. That poison will pollute the water. In addition, the student's description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem is circled with a green line and kill the animals that drink it polluted water. One unintended consequence would earn one point. For another unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. There, birds, food source will be gone. In addition, the student's description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem is circled with a green line, it means that the birds will die because. Another unintended consequence would earn one point. Response E is an example of a student response that would earn a total of two points. All right, let's take a look at student response F. For one unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. It, pesticides, could kill other plants. However, the description of the effect of the unintended consequence on another organism in the forest ecosystem, which is circled with a green line, the pesticides may be a hazard for the other living things in the forest ecosystem, is considered vague and does not clearly describe the effect of that unintended consequence. One unintended consequence would not earn a point. For another unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. The pesticide could kill other animals. However, the description of the effect of the unintended consequence on another organism in the forest ecosystem, which is circled with a green line, and be a hazard to other animals in the forest, is considered vague and does not clearly describe the effect of that unintended consequence. Another unintended consequence would not earn a point. Response F is an example of a student response that would earn a total of zero points. Let's examine student response G. For one unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. Stop reproduction and the moths could die. The student does not provide a description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem. One unintended consequence would not earn a point. For another unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence in a circle of the purple line. Another sort of insect could take over the trees. In addition, the student's attempted description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem is circle with a green line and you would have to keep killing them, insects, off, does not describe the effect of the unintended consequence on another organism in the ecosystem and is not creditable. Another unintended consequence would not earn a point. Response G is an example of a student response that would earn a total of zero points. Let's review student response H. 
For one unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. The pesticides could run into streams and other bodies of water, polluting it, bodies of water. In addition, the student's description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem is circled with a green line. This could kill organisms in the water. One unintended consequence would earn one point. For another unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. The pesticides could kill other insects that are important. The portion of the student's response that attempts to provide a description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem and is circled with a green line, thus altering the ecosystem, is vague and does not describe the effect of the unintended consequence on another organism in the ecosystem. Another unintended consequence would not earn a point. Response H is an example of a student response that would earn a total of one point. Our final response to analyze is student response I. For one unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. A, unintended consequence could be harming the plant life, mainly trees, because the pesticide is a poison. In addition, the student's description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem is circled with a green line. This would also lead to the loss of habitat for many other species, birds, and so forth. One unintended consequence would earn one point. For another unintended consequence, the student's response describes a plausible unintended consequence and is circled with a purple line. Pesticide is a poison and could also kill other other animals that live in the trees. In addition, the student's description of how the unintended consequence could affect another organism in the forest ecosystem is circled with a green line. This would decrease prey and or predators. Another unintended consequence would earn one point. Response I is an example of a student response that would earn a total of two points. Here are the links to the assessment documents mentioned at the beginning of the presentation. If you have any questions or comments concerning the biology end of course exam, please contact Don Cope, Secondary Science Assessment Specialist at 360-725-4989 or email don.cope at k12.wa.us. If you have any questions or comments concerning the biology collection of evidence, please contact Scott Killo, COE Science Assessment Specialist at 360-725-6316 or email scott.killo at k12.wa.us. Thank you for your participation.